Gentlemen, welcome. I am the one and only West Coast King, and welcome back to the Sounders career, where we have finally broken through that barrier. We have struggled for a couple of episodes. Last episode, we finally brought that to an end and finally broke out of our shell and played well for once. I mean, it seems like it's been forever since that's happened, but we did pick up two wins out of two, picked up all six points last episode, which puts us 12 points clear in the Western Conference. We're 11 points clear of Sporting KC and DC United in the East. And today we've got a, quite a few games we're going to get through. We're going to play some games, we're going to simulate some games, so let's get right into it. Alright, the first game up is going to be at home against Montreal. And as much as I would love to go up against Ahmed Musa on his new team, um, I just, just don't want to play them. They're in 7th place in the Eastern Conference. They're just not very good. They have one of the worst goal differentials in the league, so we are actually going to simulate this game. We have a very rotated side today. You can see a lot of starters are missing because we're playing on short rest. Hopefully we can get three points. We do. Martinez and Markkinen scores again. Two goals in two games for Markkinen. He's just freaking beast. All right, right into the next game. And for this one, we're headed down I-5, down to Portland, where we will play the Timbers. And, of course, we're picking the first choice starting 11 for this one. It's going to be Vargas, Castillo, McAvoy, and Green, Kitchen, Pena, Tipton, Palmer Brown, Marshall, Hong Chul, and Bornstein. Let's go. Here's a look at Portland starting 11, and, um, yep, that's the first choice starting 11, no doubt about it. They're bringing it, we're bringing it, let's go. I'm ready for this one. Yes, Palmer Brown, give that off. Oh, that's not where I want to play it, but Pena, what a first touch from Pena, who cuts it inside, and cuts it back outside, and then gets tackled by Ridgewell. That was not the best play. Yes, McAvoy, that pace. Find your boy Vargas! He's there! Vargas! Get it over the bar! That was so perfect! The cross was perfect! The play to set it up was perfect! The finish was just not perfect. Great play from Perry Kitchen right there. Get the ball out. There goes a man! It's McAvoy and you know no one's catching him as long as the keeper... Stupid keeper! I hate playing Portland! More than I've hated playing any team I've ever played in any variation of FIFA. I cannot score against Portland. Here we go for the second half. I, I honestly don't know how Portland is in last place in the Western Conference. And they're last by quite a few points. It's not like they're just kind of like lingering with the rest of the pack. No, they're like five points clear at the bottom. It's, it's bad. How are they that far down? If anything, they should be in the middle of the table based on their defense alone. It's the best defense in the league, I can, I have no problem scoring against any other team. And I can't score against Portland. Now I'm going to have to, otherwise we're going to lose this game. I hate playing Portland. That's their first shot of the game, by the way. In case you didn't know that, and I haven't said that. That was their first shot of the game, and they just scored. So, yeah. Like I said, I just, I hate playing Portland. There you go. There you go, McAvoy. McAvoy! Roll into the goal! It's in! Tell me that's a goal! That's a goal! I will take it straight from kickoff! Thank you! Oh my god, I can't believe that went in! Yo, goal line technology. I don't think that was over the line. I honestly still, seeing all those replays, I don't think that cleared the line, but I don't care. I'll take it. It's one all in Portland. It took them scoring on themselves, but whatever. I don't care. Please defend this corner. With everything you got... No, we did not defend that corner. I don't think we even touched that ball. There you go, McAvoy. Great play. Palmer Brown, yes. Play that ball to Vargas. Vargas! No! Where is Vargas? Play that ball. Julian! Somebody pull your head out of your ass and make a pass! What is wrong with my entire team right now? There you go. Play it in the middle. Yes. Yes. Yes, Jameson. Yes, Jameson! What was the keeper doing right there? I just brought Jameson on and he scored a goal. I also brought on, um, I don't, I don't even remember. I think Miranda. I can't remember what, honestly who else I brought on. But can we just talk about what the keeper just did? I mean, that was, a, that a whole thing was set up by a great run from Tipton all the way from the right, the left back spot. But that keeper, Gleason, just stood there. He literally just watched the ball go by him. Oh, look at that. What is he doing? Dang it, why did he take a touch? What just, I wasn't even paying attention to what just happened. How did I get the ball back? Did the keeper really just throw me the ball? 
Yes, Home Chul, win that ball. Jameson, stay on side. Yes, Jameson's on side. He's going to get to that. Jameson! Those are the plays that Jameson frustrates the hell out of me. It was open. Just put it on target. For real, dude. Come on, Jameson. There you go. There you go. Great move from Jameson to Ridgewell. Wow, Ridgewell's a pain in the ass, but that's the final whistle. Yo, Jameson should have had at least a hat trick in the second half. He was amazing after he came on, getting into the right spots. Finally, he did something, but he couldn't finish it. He only got one goal. He had four opportunities. Ridiculous. But at least we come out of Portland with three points. I mean, that's all I can really ask for. All right, so here we have an offer for Lyndon Gooch. He's just never, ever, 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 ever going to play on this team. So we're going to sell him for $400,000 to New England. I'm, this is a fine deal. He's worth $400,000. they are going to give me $400,000. I don't remember how much I even paid for him. So at this point, I don't really care. I just want him off the team. So the second game we're going to play today is actually the U.S. Open Cup, our first U.S. Open Cup game of the season. And we're going to go with a complete reserve side. I just want to get some people some minutes in the U.S. Open Cup. We're playing Chicago, Romain Gaul's new team. So if he plays in there, that would be pretty interesting. But I'm not really too worried about it. Chicago's actually pretty good. I think they're in fifth place in the Eastern Conference. But I think this team can get it done. I want to give some of these players some minutes. They don't usually get to play. The U.S. Open Cup is a good place to do that. So let's go in and play Chicago. Here's a look at Chicago starting 11. Romain Gaul is not in the starting 11. Okay. There is David Akam, though. I know he is really fast on the left wing. Wow, and they got Watson Cirabelle as well. He's a pretty good defender. Chicago's done a pretty good job of bringing in some players uh, in the last few seasons. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with how they've done. Yes, Watts. Look at him battle! Watts! Watts! What the heck was that? He just took three moves and didn't go anywhere. What the heck are you doing, Watts? Now Hong Chul go. Hong Chul, there's a man in the middle, wide open. Watts! What are you doing? Back to Watts. Watts turns it, sets up a shot. Wow, that was actually a good shot from Watts. That was actually impressive. Tari, Muntari, Tamarkinen, one more. What a ball to Miranda, who can't finish. Yo, Sean Johnson is killing us in there. Sean Johnson in goal is single-handedly keeping them in this game. Into Watts. Watts, he's gonna... What? What? Why did he play it there? I had a guy making a run right next to me. There's the whistle for halftime. This team, there's... It's so bad, it's funny. Like, my team's so bad. The reserves are just not cut out to play yet. Some of them are just terrible. It's the weirdest freaking... Wow! Get rid. Uh, no! What is going on? How did we not clear that ball? Yo, somebody do something! Just stop them! Yeah, I missed! I don't even know who I got switched to right there. It's out of play. Just let it go. Let it go. It's a goal kick. Let's get some subs on. Back in to Markinen. Markinen over here to Rojas. Rojas is, um, oh, look at that move from Rojas. Rojas scores against, I think that's his former team. I think we traded Rojas for goal. But either way, we've got the 1-0 lead in the 86th minute. Yo, Rojas is really good. I've been very impressed with him since he's come on. I actually really, I might keep him around, you know. I can't believe he scored that. I can't believe he, he not made that guy and split the other two. Wow! I like him! He's really good! And that is the final whistle. We come away from here with an old reserves team. Not a single starter. Well, okay, Bornstein and Chul did. But other than that, no starters played in that game. And we came away with a 1-0 win. So here's a quick look at the U.S. Open Cup table. We're moving on to the semifinals. And thank God, in the bottom left, you see D.C. United beat Portland 2-0. I'm so glad that I don't have to play Portland again. I absolutely hate playing them more than anybody. I just freaking hate playing Portland. Okay, this move is either going to be really good or it's really going to hurt us. We're going to loan Julian Green out to 1860 Munich back to Germany in hopes that it will fix whatever is wrong with Julian Green. He's not growing. He's in bad form. I mean, he's just playing terrible and he's not growing. We absolutely need him to grow. Otherwise, we're just going to sell him. So I'm going to loan him out for uh, just a short period of time. Then we're going to bring him back. So hopefully that fixes him. 
But for the next game, we're not going to have Julian Green. Alright, last game of this episode is going to be against FC Dallas. We're at home. Dallas is not in the playoff picture right now, but they are starting to get a little bit better. But we're going to simulate this game anyway. It's the first choice starting 11, minus Julian Green now. It's going to be McAvoy in there in his place. Rojas is going to start at the center attacking mid spot because he was incredible against Chicago. Hopefully he can repeat that performance. Wow, that was a good win. Vargas gets two, Castillo gets one, Kitchen gets one, and a 4-0 win over FC Dallas. Love that. Alright, so that is going to do it for the games in this episode, but quickly before we go, I want to talk about the Julian Green situation. Yes, I loaned him out. It was for a season-long loan to the second division or second tier of German football in 1860 Munich. A good place where he can pick up some valuable experience, get some playing time, and develop on his own pace. Whereas if he stayed in our squad, he would really need to play every day and play well. So, I was planning on bringing him back quickly from off that loan, but I may just allow him to play out that whole loan spell over there in Germany just to get some more experience. I think he just needs a little bit more experience, a little bit more seasoning before he can come back into our squad. So, with two weeks left in the transfer window, I think I want to bring in a veteran uh, wide midfielder, right wide midfielder, to fill in for Julian Green so he can just play out that whole that whole loan spell over there, get some experience before we call him back. So, any suggestions that you can think of for a wide midfielder or winger on the right side, I would greatly appreciate. I will look at absolutely everyone that you suggest, so don't just suggest one. I just want a group of players that I can look at. I'll go through them all and see which ones are a viable option for us. And I'm probably going to bring one in and play out the rest of the season, or this season and next season, however long it takes for Julian Green to come back. Uh, with that player so please leave a lot of suggestions on who I can bring in in that spot so that's gonna do it for this one guys if you had as much fun as I did make sure to let me know leave a like below subscribe if you're new leave me lots of suggestions and I will catch you when we come back with some more Sounders career see ya